welcome back guys so today we'll be discussing the fractional distillation of refining of petroleum so the the after doing the fractional distillation we get many products in the fractionating column so first is low boiling fraction so it comprises of carbon numbers from four ma maximum of four carbon atoms max 4 max carbon atoms so which is separated below 30 degrees celsius so separated below 30 degrees celsius and it is known as LPG liquefied petroleum gas so it's mainly used in for domestic fuel so next we obtain as is gasoline is petroleum ether first petroleum ether so it comprises of carbon num numbers of C7 to C C5 to C7 and it has a boiling point of 30 degree to 70 degree Celsius so it has a high calorific value high calorific value and high vol it is highly volatile and flammable volatile and flammable so it is used as internal combustion engine used as internal combustion engine so next we have gasoline so gasoline comprises of carbon atoms of C5 to C10 C9 and so its boiling point will be 40 degree to 120 degree celsius so So it is mainly used as solvent and it, it also has a high calorific value and it is highly flammable. So number D we have kerosene. So kerosene it comprises of carbon atoms of C10 to C16. Its boiling point is 180 to 250 degrees Celsius and it is used as domi domestic fuel. Domestic fuel it has a high calorific value high calorific value so next we have diesel so diesel so diesel comprises of carbon atoms from C12 to C17 so its boiling point is 250 to 320 degrees Celsius and it is mainly used as diesel engine fuel diesel engine fuel and it, it also has a high calorific value so this were all about fractional distillation so thanks for watching it